Welcome to Pokemon Go Ahead. It's your boy Cheek Lay, and I am rocking the Ash Ketchum hat. I will be posting the Ghastly Community Day video tomorrow. I'm still working on the editing, so expect that. Stay tuned, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And also the day after that video is out, I'll be posting the Oddish Spotlight Hour because we need to get a shiny Oddish. Well, actually, we need two. So stay tuned for those videos. You're watching this video because we just had Ghastly Community Day yesterday. And you're probably just wondering, who are they going to drop as the next Pokemon for Community Days for months of August and September and October and November? Now, December is no question going to be literally everything that was a Community Day feature of this year. So we don't need to talk about December but we will talk about August and September 1st. And obviously, it depends on you because they're doing the voting thing again. I wouldn't know the bonuses or the exclusive moves for whatever we pick, but if they ever do, I'll just like leave like a pinned comment or an update in the description so you guys know. But the candidates are going to be Charmander, Porygon, Caterpie, and Grimer. For every voting, there's been like a pattern going around. We get to choose either a shiny that was already previously in the game, a shiny that is already previously in the game with the Alolan counterparts, or a shiny that has been previously been introduced during a community day, or, which is probably the best choice, a brand new shiny. There's probably a lot of reasons why people want to vote for something other than the obvious because of the fact that they either don't have a shiny or maybe just because they want a Pokemon that's so good for PvP, so they have to decide based on the exclusive move, or maybe it's based on the bonus. So they're giving lots of trainers some options. So for my personal pick, I would definitely choose Porygon out of the four. It's without a question that it's obvious that it's a new shiny, it's also cool, and it would probably give trainers a chance to get some items like the upgrade and the Sinnoh Stone, kind of like with Rhyhorn getting a Sinnoh Stone for doing so many battles and stuff, or whatever mechanic they're gonna do, now that Sinnoh Stones are getting way easier to be found, and giving people a chance to get an upgrade to evolve with Porygon into Porygon too. And also because now that we're having these like research stories, they're giving us certain items. So it would make a lot of sense that they would do a research where we can get a number amount of upgrades and then we would have a number amount of Sinnoh Stones so then we can evolve one Porygon, a Porygon 2, or at least evolve three. So then we have three upgrades or something. Or maybe they give us extra ones when we spin Pokestops. And then Sinnoh Stones for battling or whatever. So then that way we could have like at least one good Porygon Z or a shiny Porygon Z or whatever whatever you guys want. Also to make it very accessible. That's why I feel like that'd be a good choice. It would really motivate trainers to really evolve the Porygon or at least get the items for the Porygon when they weren't able to get an upgrade or a Sinnoh Stone because most of you guys are probably somewhere you can't access as an upgrade because you have to go to a Pokestop. So I think that'd be a really smart move. And then the reasons why I wouldn't vote for the others is because again, they're all previously introduced as shinies but they're all for different reasons. For Caterpie and Grimer, I mean, I already have those shinies, but I don't have Grimer's Alolan counterpart. I would consider having that be a first runner up, but at the same time, it also depends if I end up hatching a shiny Alolan Grimer, or if it has an exclusive move and it has to depend between Butterfree and Muck. And then Charmander's out of the question. It's already been introduced in the community day. Then we have the months of October and November. So after September, or at least end of September, we're going to have a choice to vote for either Bulbasaur, Execute, Magikarp, or Starly. Obviously, we've been over it, there's a pattern. Bulbasaur, out of the question. Execute, already is shiny. Magikarp, the, like literally the first ever shiny to be in Pokemon Go. So like, if you're new to the game, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna vote for Magikarp just for you. There was an event where we can get a lot of water Pokemon, and then there was like more events that included water Pokemon, 
And then there was an event literally this year where you can catch a wild shiny Gyarados if you're lucky. There are all these events that have been showcasing Magikarp and it's like, nope, sorry. Find somebody that'd be willing to trade a Magikarp for something. Even if it's for a shiny shelter or whatever. Now Starly, obviously out of the birds, it like the regional birds like Pidgey, Talo, and Pit of don't have shiny. Okay, and to be fair, Hoodoo doesn't either, but that's beside the point. Starly would be a new shiny, and Star Raptor is actually one of the coolest looking birds in the game. So Star Raptor looks dope. I think it's shiny is it's okay, but like it's actually kind of cool to see a new Pokemon. And also I feel like if they were going to give an exclusive move, I feel like close combat would be a good pick. I say close combat because close combat's a cool move. It's also good for steel and rock types. So Star Raptor having a good attack stat and having, you know, close combat against, you know, rock and steel types would be pretty useful. I would be voting for Starly for the month of October. And then for the runner up, I predict that it's either going to be Execute or Magikarp. And I feel like a lot of people are gonna vote for Magikarp, even though I don't see it, but I feel like that's what's gonna happen because we have a lot of new players who either were lucky enough to get a Magikarp or maybe other reasons. But I just feel like Magikarp's gonna be an interesting pick. Also, it might depend on what the exclusive move is for Gyarados or Exeggutor and Alolan Exeggutor because it seems like people can get an Alolan Exeggutor shiny from raids. So again, it depends on the exclusive moves for the runner up. At least that's how I see it. But that's up to you guys. Whatever the reasons may be, you guys still have a choice to vote for who you want to see be the showcase of different community days of each month. But my personal predictions, I see Porygon in August, I want to see Grimer in September, Starly in October, and I guess Magikarp in November. But again, it's up to you and it's also up to the bonuses and exclusives. Again, we don't know anything. It's not 100% confirmed, but we do know it's going to happen because I mean, there was stuff posted and everything. So let me know your thoughts. Who will you vote for? I already told you everything about mine, but let me know down in the comments below who would you vote for. Please don't say Charmander or Bulbasaur. Um, we don't want Mystic7 to make another video saying don't vote Charmander or don't vote Bulbasaur. Please spare Mystic7. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.